Alright, everybody's got us 11 back here with Madden. And our 5 and 1 Bears are taking on the 3 and 2 Redskins in Washington. So let's get to the action right off the bat here. I practice, got some XP for my guys. And I believe I scouted already too, so we're going to get right into the game. So let's do it. Redskins are 83 overall, we're 80 overall. And they're at home, so we are underdogs, if you're, that's how you're going to look at it. I'm interested to see how RG3 is in this game. Um, I'm sure he's pretty good. So... And I haven't been, I haven't got a man video out in a while, and that's because I've been basically, I've been lost in Los Santos with Grand Theft Auto 5, like I'm sure a lot of people have. And I've been lost in Hyrule with Link with the Wind Waker. I've been playing a crap little bit. I've only uploaded maybe nine videos of that playthrough. So I'm doing a 100% uh, playthrough of it, but I have about 26 videos recorded. I just have to render them and post them. I, I've been playing it nonstop, so. I apologize, but Zelda for me is like a religion. It's, so when the new thing comes out, I'm all over it. But I'm gonna try to get some more of these Madden videos out because I do enjoy it. I just haven't even thought about it really. All right, let's do it. And everybody is ready to go for this matchup between the Chicago Bears and the Washington Redskins here at FedEx Field. Jay Cutler. Bears are looking good in real life. They actually keep the butt out of Pittsburgh. You know, Pittsburgh's not really good. Nance, Bill Zim, partner, look forward to sharing a very special afternoon with you. Yeah, it's always going to be special. We have two good football teams going against each other. Can't wait to see who can win this battle. And well, actually, they were kicking their butt in the first the half and then the let them back into the game. Danielle Bellini. Away. I spoke with both the Redskins and the Bears, Jim. Both teams know this will be a grudge match. These two defenses pride themselves on shutting down opposing offenses. Each team views this game as a measuring stick against one another, and neither team wants to be on the losing end of that measurement. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. All right, the Redskins ready to return the kick. My goal is to not turn the ball Smartly over. Takes a knee in the end zone. I throw way too many interceptions. He won the Heisman Trophy in 2011 out of favor. Got five Robert TDs and three Griffin picks. Jim, I'm anxious to watch Robert Griffin the third this year to see if he changes the way he plays quarterback. Last year, running the football, he was so dynamic. But that injury, that'll make you think twice before you take off and run. I need to play a little bit more man-to-man -man blitz. They, I mean, I'm playing, I'm doing play game plan, so what they call is what I'm picking. But I'd like to do some more man-to-man -man blitz. Nice tackle. Washington barely got there, but he got and there. And a player to watch today is tight end Fred Davis. When you have a running quarterback like RG3, the tight end can be a really good weapon to throw the football over the middle. Look out for Fred Davis. Come to the line. Of course, plenty of pink on the field today and in the stands as all of October will be seeing this for Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the NFL. Looking to the right side and throwing. They've got nice. him down there. Got him barely, but I got him. Good job by the quarterback that time. Makes the decision. Throws it short. It does not get the first down. But I promise you, third and short is a lot easier than having third and long. The other thing about Washington is they got Morris, too. So they get a tough the SOG. But it's not enough to move the chains. Third down coming up. Robert Griffin, the third, from the shotgun. Wow. Balls incomplete. Fourth down. A little bit of pressure, up. I take it. Looks like they'll go three and out on this series. Rocca now ready to punt. Looking to make a difference. Let's go, Weems. Come on. There we go. Nice. Here comes the man who's not afraid to throw it down the field. Quarterback Jay Cutler. 
Well, we've talked so many times about Jay Cutler's great talent. It's time to see it all come together. He has talent and experience, and it's time to get it done. Now on first down. Matt Forte. Wow, nice block. My God, he's kid right in. Multi-dimensional player for this Bears offense is running back Matt Forte. Yeah, he sure is. Yeah, you said it all. He can run with power, make people miss. He can protect the quarterback, Jay Cutler. I'll tell you what, he's pretty good in the pass game, too. This starting lineup is brought to you by Snickers. Hungry for victory, Snickers satisfies. Brings it into his body. Gains mm. five. Not a very good. That's very good. The player to watch today is quarterback D'Angelo Hall. I like D'Angelo Hall. He can play the inside receiver, very aggressive, and there are times he's one of the better defensive backs in the NFL. Bennett's in the slot. No slide. It looks like the blitz on the right. I'm gonna slide him right. From the gun. Damn it! I fucked up my down. buttons. The quick three and out. This defense you're playing Fuck. against. I flipped. I freaked good. out. Freaking. So what's his name? Was wide open on the right, out of the backfield, and I wanted to throw it to him, but I screwed up. I hit the wrong buttons. Kind of a little mind brain fart there. Stay on. Stay in. Stay in. One. Oh! Damn it. That's why my quarterback is so not really good. <laughs> Setting but up in the pistol better. on this play. Now first and ten. Quarterback. Quick toss to Come on, get him, get him. Nice. Stay way to stay with him. Tim Jennings of the Bears led the league in interceptions last season with nine. Just has a great knack, can read wide receivers when they're coming out of breaks and not afraid to take chances. That's why he got nine interceptions last year. Offense lines up here. Second down and 13. And Morris is taking the handoff. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. Yeah, Morris is, when he's got to be good in this game. thinking pass, run the delay or the draw, catches him off guard, you'll get some good he yards. He is a good back. After that last run, it sets up third and six. Griffin's got it in the gun. He's looking to the right here on this. Oh, he got away. Damn it. It's Lance Briggs on the tackle. Good job by the quarterback that time. He didn't take the bait. He didn't throw it down the football field. He threw it short to the open receiver, and we've seen it so many times. Throw it to the guy is open and see if the defense can make the tackle. Here's the first snap after the big play. First and ten. Looking for an open receiver. Oh, no, sit down. Someone's Don't get up. Out there. He's Hold not getting up. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Second and ten. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Caught it, but his feet are out of bounds. Out of bounds. I don't know what was more terrible. That was a terrible route. Terrible throw by the quarterback. Oh, and what a shot. It's incomplete. Davis usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. Griffin in the shotgun formation. Throwing now to his left. The red oh, my God, he got it. Down. He's going to be tackled right Fuck. around the 31 yard line. And I thought Jennings was going to get there for that. Receive, get past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. First and 10. Challenging the defenders to the Peanut. Right side. Interception. 
Get out of bounds, Peanut. You get hurt all the time. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve Beautiful. to throw an interception. Bears defense. That's where it's at. Bennett's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First down and 10. Nobody's freaking open on this, to these routes. Happen. And he'll step out of bounds. Jake can run a little bit when he has to. Bennett's lined up now as a slot receiver. It's a second and four. four God, that draw. Sometimes it takes so long for it to go. There was a huge hole by the time I got the ball. I couldn't go anywhere. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive. Crowd the line of scrimmage. And you just, you just played right into their hands. And they got the tackle for the loss. Third and five. The Bears now move the chains. All right, Brandon. What a job by the quarterback finding a way to throw that football. This should end the first quarter. First All right, not they much going on here. Down the field right now. No turnovers though for me, so that's my goal. No picks. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Of course, the chances of that happening are pretty slim, but so far it's working out. Got a pick though. That's what's important. Defense is playing the well. receiver in the slot, and the second quarter is underway with this snap. That's an interception. And there's a pick. Right when I said that. What a terrible job by the quarterback. Nobody's open. I thought I was going to get that. I had. I thought I had inside. What's it turn into an interception? Well, that didn't last long. <laughs> no picks. Wrap the next offense. play. Throw it. Now first and ten. As they go ground here. Swallowed up behind. You're not getting away from Briggs. That ain't happening. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play and they stopped it. Garcon's lined up in the slot. Second and eleven. And Morris is gonna take the handoff now. Well, Conte hit him, then knock him out, but it slowed him down for Peppers, so that'll work. Morris is a tough running back, so he's not going to be an easy guy to bring down. Is playing out of position in the backfield here. Ooh, was that a false start? Nice. I haven't seen a lot of penalties. That is huge. Actually. Long odds facing the offense after that penalty on third down and 12. Bowman's blitzing. Ah, oh, kind of screwed that up. This is a screen play all the way. No way. Good coverage, Bears. Short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long. Those screens usually to tend to. They, they've screwed me so far a couple times. But those guys are playing out in the zone, and they got it taken care of. Going to try his luck here. The Bears come onto the field now for this next series. Hey, man, 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 man. Bennett's in the slot. Quick drop back. The throw to the left. Oh, Lloyd. I didn't mean to spin, but I did. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league. So we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. First and ten. Play action. The quarterback throws to the right. Oh, I must pick that off. Hard to throw over Fuck. Yeah, that was terrible. He was covering him. I thought Marshall might be able to outrun him to the sideline, but that dude stuck with him. Marshall's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Second and ten. Stands in the pocket. There we go, Lloyd. Nice catch. To pull in the rocket pass. Well, the way the rules are in the NFL now, you can't hit the receivers, you can't hit the quarterback. And if you give Lloyd my big pickup, kind of he is always going to find an open receiver. First and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. He didn't. Ah. All you have to do is watch the head of the receiver. When they drop footballs, usually it's because 
You can see their head move the other way before the Bennett football gets there. Bennett has been my MVP That's what pretty much. This time. Forte at times has had huge games. Second down and ten. The hand but Bennett to Matt Forte. They bring him to the has turn. been a stud for us. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. Forte There's not no doing much today. It. Nice job by the offensive line. Got a little screen action here. This could be screens, could be huge, or they could be nothing. Good blocking. Forte, <laughs> yes. Plowing people. Boy, they got a good That's how it works right there, here. buddy. I guess you don't hear that too much on the golf course, too. Well, they want to throw the screen again, there, huh? This offense, they're right. clicking. They're making plays. Let's see if they can take advantage of, of just moving this football down the field. Matt Forte has it from Cutler. And that's All right, my own guy. Getting harder and harder in the NFL to score when you're this close to the goal line. So what will the offense do? They they better be creative. That's all I know. Wow, we're the giving Unger the ball. To the line for the Let's flip it to the, the left. Time. It looks like it's a little more open in there. Out of the eye. He is in. Unger! My fullback that I don't like because he can't block for shit. He can get a yard though, can he? How about that? The fullback scores the touchdown. He does all the blocking, gets beat up all the time, but nothing like getting the football where you can score to get it done. Bears ready to kick the football. It's hard to, like, scout fullbacks. I would love to have a good fullback, but it's almost like it's one of those positions where it's like, I don't know, do I really need to go for a fullback? I guess I do because I complain all the time about it. Redskins are going to line up close game but second I'm, quarter. We'll, I'm looking for a strong seven, safety and a two minute warning looms and this or free safety and before it hits first down a left end. end. Oh, but do I need a left end Campbell. when Washington is doing these kind of things? Maybe two not. Batman hey, is uh, he's been playing well in the backfield. Second and 13. Oh, another play for Washington. Of course, he pretty much ran right into me there, but I'll take it. All right, cornerback blitz coming. Jennings looking for a little love here. Let's get a free shot. Ooh, I almost jumped there with that little shit he's pulling. Well, they're wasting time. They have nothing going on. They have no offense right now. And they're letting this clock tick down. That's fine. I'll save my timeouts. If I stop them, I'll still get the ball with a decent amount of time left. I'll call a timeout if they run here. Third and forever. And they are. Oh, my God. He broke it. What an impressive game. Unbelievable. Hurry up. Two minute offense. Unbelievable. Great rookie year for the Washington Redskins. What a surprise he was to the whole NFL with the speed and power he made. Big nice play. coverage by the fullback there on the tight end. By the uh, linebacker course, when you're on under the tight this end. Kind of, That'll this work. Kind of pressure. Anderson could have picked it, offline. but it's all right. Can't ask for everything there. Davis, a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Tight end in motion. Second down and ten. Oh, Peppers just annihilated. Damn it. Fred Davis. They pounce on him there. The Redskins are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Shit. All of a sudden, this offense is doing something. Peppers, I think I destroyed. I think I almost took his head off. I don't know how he got up. You know, I didn't really see the hit. Oh, yeah. That was pretty good. <laughs> just a second late. All right, we need uh, Peppers to drop back in coverage, actually. Williams is splits in there. Now first and ten. Into the open flat. Reaches out and grabs it. There's Morris. Hey, look, he's pulling he's guy. He's like a four. He's just pounding people. The Redskins elect to take a timeout here before the second down snap. Shit. They're, oh, they're in field goal range. If we can get a nice stop here, though. They send the tight end in motion. Second down, four to go. 
Do some pressure on this. Ah, shit. Nice tackle, at least. First and goal, though. I think I still got a timeout left. That would have been six points for the offense, but he just falls short. Now, the next snap from inside the red zone, where a week ago they starred as a team. So, first and goal to go. Here's the there we go. Run it. Burn your timeout. They didn't burn it. Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. Second and goal from the four. Wow, he is he open. But he's out of bounds. Wow. So far in this drive by the offensive coordinator, his team is down, but they are marching down the field. Breaking huddle. Wow, and they are not challenging that. Even though they can, the booth has to challenge it under two minutes, but still, wow, that was uh this drive now about to reach the tenth play of the series. Come on, Mel, get him. Yes. And they sack the quarterback. Huge defensive stand for the Bears. First in goal. A short field goal try on the They're probably gonna get the field goal, but it's better than getting up the touchdown. And we'll get the ball in the second half. The kick is good. That's just some bad play calling there at the end, Jim. It was a beautiful drive down the field by the offense, but they should have paid it off. And we got Weems with a chance to bad maybe call. do something the on the kickoff and maybe get the ball. But right. the kicker comes through and at least gets some three points. Even though he has yet to return a kick, even though he's got a good rating. Hester's our boy, of course. He's been hurt. Oh! He's brought down. After a gain of about he was close. If he return. turned, was able to turn that so corner, he was gone. It for the first half, Bears are up in this one, which is brought to you by Verizon. All right, not a, you know what? It wasn't a terrible half, even though when he scored seven points, our defense is playing well except for the end there, and it was really that one run. We had him third and long, and they ran it. And he broke it and got a big game. If it wasn't for that, we're back here now in this one. Where the Bears the yardage wise, yeah, there's Let's not much going on. Go here. to Danielle Bellini. She has an update. I got a chance to speak with Coach Shanahan at halftime. And not we did throw a pick. Here, yes, we did. Obviously, so Coach talked about wanting to move the ball specifically through the air. He feels like there are opportunities. Weems is just plowing people. He's plowing everybody. Wow. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. That was unexpected. <laughs> I thought I just tackled. He just kept going. Marshall's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. Toss to the outside. Oh, I'll break that tackle, Matt. Four rushes for eight yards. Not much going on here. The Redskins got a good defense, though, so and we got a good defense, so it's kind of game we expected, or I expected. He's looking to the right here on this throw, and there you go, Brandon. he is tackled at the 44. We're throwing 70 percent, just one pick. That's what you want to do, just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving, keep the defense guessing, make them react instead of attack. Jay Cutler from the shotgun, looking long. Brandon Marshall Touchdown. said, fuck it, let's throw that bitch. Wow. What That's how it should be with Brandon. He's got, he's nice always got a height advantage. Touchdown, but today's game if he got man-to-man, -man, so he should be able to whip it down. It, just, it seems like most of the time it ends up being an interception when I do that. That time I, well, the guy missed it. He jo out jumped him though, really. That's what Brandon brings to you. Dude's so freaking tall. The Bears lined up now for the point after. Makes the PAT. That was huge. So he quickly went from however many yards he had to Robbie seventy Gold, something yards. Ready to kick it. Taken down after picking up 31 on the return. There's a huge hole there. Oh, 
offense lines up here. Washington's dropping back in coverage here. To the ground here. Shit. Not giving up another inch. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. Lined up in the pistol formation. First down and ten. They'll stay on the ground on first down. There we go. You are not out one. getting through Lance Briggs. That was a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Second and nine. They hand it off to him again. And the tackle. Wow, I almost thought he was going to hop out there and keep going. In this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front, and that time they stopped that run just for a short game. Davis is a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Third down and six. Yeah, they brought everybody. Oh, it was a freaking screen. Get him, get him, Ben Jennings. No. Those fucking screens are killing me. I'm like, wow, I have like 12 people. 12 out of 11 are going after the quarterback. I wonder why. Maybe because there's a freaking screen. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Griffin's going to take it from the gun. Looks to his left. Nice hit. But the ball is knocked out incomplete. That's why you like defenders who are good, punishing tacklers. Make those receivers worry about coming over the middle. They'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit. Second and ten. And Morris is handed the football. He'll be taken down about three yards peppers. short of the first. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block. And then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him? and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get Damn the it. secondary and make a big play. Well, you get a couple first downs on a drive, it just, of course, it makes you... I've been playing aggressive this whole doing. game, just blitzing, it but it seems to be actually being color, better for me and there's nothing to like just be aggressive. To the I love it. Looking for an open receiver on the right. I don't always this get sacks, but we've got a player down and he's in pain. Oh shit! Why yeah, does my guys job. always get hurt? Get up and get off the field, and my guess is why do my guys okay. always get hurt? A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. The Redskins in the pistol. Oh! Almost jumped. Thought I saw a little flinch right there. And wow. It's going to push the I almost jumped and then they got the false start. That's two false starts for them. Still second down. Hey, man, man, man. After the penalty, it's second down and 12. They've got him behind the line. I just destroyed Hayden, baby. Coming in big time. That was huge. You're losing the game, it's third and long. Don't try to be a hero. Because when you try to be a hero, it's going to lead to a turnover. He was then trying to. I, was he even going to hand it off? Re-injury risk high. Let's sub him then. He couldn't return, but I'm not going to get him hurt again. We're up 14-3. Our defense is playing well. we got to back up Davis usually in our linebacker in, spot, but, but that's okay. This time. Third and long. Oh, Melton. I hit the button. Made him fall. Damn screens. And I played it horrible again, and they scored. Touchdown, and this game just got a whole Shit. lot more interesting. When you're behind Man, those screens kill me. Drive down and score, they did that. Now the next time when they get back out there, they got to do it again. Show some patience and drive it down the field. Griffin standing back One in for the two here. ready for the snap. Damn it. Two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. The Bears now only up a single possession. The gap's been closed in this one. Scores 14 to 11. Gets out past the 20. Well, Wings not plowing everybody this time. At the 24. 
A lot of draw plays the computer calls and they, don't, they don't, haven't not Finish been working the very well for in the slot. overall. Now first and ten, taking it up the middle. The off tackles work much better. Power O. Second down. Cutler is going to take the snap from the shotgun. Cutler gets it to Matt Forte, and they bring him down at the 33 yard line. Let's go now to Some of the best Blaney. hands out of the backfield. An injury update. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Bears team official. He was unable to confirm exactly what the injury was, but he did tell me that it is related to the upper body. Third and one. Matt Forte gets it here. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Good job. Nice Nolan first down. Let's run this ball. Side. Third and short. Don't look for a big run. Just get enough to get a first down and get those chains moving. That'll do it for the third quarter here in Landover, Maryland. We'll be back in just a moment for the fourth and final quarter. All right, stick with the with the run. The fourth. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Final quarter underway now with this snap. There we go. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt. When you fake it, it's well, he's up to three the yards of carry. Field, Not the, the greatest, but all day to get it done. The wide receiver. The worst. Are they in a zone? No. Okay. Let's bring him out over here so he's not available to hit us. So we can hopefully get the one guy blocked on the outside. Nope. The ball again. I might have. I actually probably should have took, nice kept that outside. That the kind of got ready for went the in, run, saw a hole. For the running back to go, and they didn't work out. For a short game. Forte's in the slot, not in the backfield for this play. You know what, we're going to send Weems deep on this. And Lloyd. They might. It looks like they're blitzing up middle. Let's uh, slide our protection off. right. Cutler steps back into the gun. Challenging the defenders to the right side. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Sometimes All right, get the first down. By the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by Cutler's dropping back to pass once again. Inhales the pass. Well, they complete the pass, Jim. Brandon Marshall. Down, later, you got to throw one down the field. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center. Trying to get it outside before the defense is... God. Nobody made, blocked those guys. The first down marker. Well, they call you an outside line. Uh, they're giving me third and inches and there, uh, Jim. Outside, and you stop the wide runs by the offense, and he did it that time. Good job. Makes the tackle. Cutler's back in shotgun formation. Matt Forte nice catch. From Cutler. Let's keep moving this ball and taking some time off the clock. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later that defense is going to come up, and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. Cutler is dropping back the throw once again, trying to work that left side. Gains may be five. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. Nine in a row. I'm surprised that play play they, they call so many drive. short passes. Second and five. To Marshall. Oh. oh. By the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They all all right, it that ball's got to get there faster, man. Well, that's a big opportunity missed when you drop a pass like that. Marching down the field and taking their time. Third down and five. Oh, I got that killed. Was that was not a good play call. Shit. Third and five. And Went for the jugular a little bit there. It did not work out for us. Good as gold. Barely. That didn't look like it was going to make it at first. They always want to get something out of it. Get some points this time. Why did it go right? The wind was aiming. Oh, we had it. 
the wind was blowing left on the screen and it looked like the wind took it to the right. The Redskins it was ready to return the kick. Did it again. The wind looked like it was blowing down. Hmm. He'll take a knee here, and that means the offense will start the game at the 20. Right, either way, we got a six point lead, the so they need a touchdown. Quite a battle here in the fourth. The scores 17 to 11. Time is beginning to fade, but the quarterback knows his team still has a chance. He must produce something in a hurry. Makes the catch inbound. He's 12 for 19. He's having, he is having a pretty good game. Not a lot of yards. So that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. And Davis is playing out of position in the backfield here. Sticks to his hand. Jesus, he just plowed Jennings. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense. Now we got man-to-man yes. -man all and over Morgan the place, blitzing up the middle. Up in the slot. Tight ends in motion here. RG3 from the gun, eyeing that left side. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. Time is running out here in the fourth, and the defense is trying to preserve this win. Second down and five. The quarterback throws to the right. Well, that's a nice completion by the offense. And what it does, it just puts them in a more manageable situation so they can pick up that third down. Garcon's in the slot. Third down and two. It's handed to the running back, and they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. The NFL is about situations. A good job by the runner, knowing where the first down was, gets it there, and he moves those chains. And we're back now as the defense will try to keep the offense off the board. Late here in the fourth. Just about two minutes to go, and the defense knows it needs to make one last stop to end it. There it is. Lance motherfucking Briggs. What a pick. a proud sponsor of this satisfying defensive replay. When hunger hits, Snickers satisfies. Huge. Those all last two plays, the only two that I played game plan instead of aggressive. They everybody dropped back, and he was sitting right there waiting for it. Nice crab now, breaks. Are so I called aggressive D the whole game with blitzes. I finally Strong dropped them back and run, worked. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice kick. That right, let's run this clock out. Lloyd's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Second and four. The quarterback will hand it off. Hang on. It was made, but the first down is picked up. That's close to ending it right there. They have one timeout left. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center, tossing it to the running back. Fucking the shit. Block him on that toss plays. For a timeout. You can take it down to a minute about Minutes after this play. Now as a slot receiver. Second down and a long way to go. Get to the and first. Nice run. That keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. That's where you need the big size on your defense. You need it inside. In other words, you need big defensive linemen that can cover the center and the guards to stop these runs right up the middle. Two tight ends on the field here. All right, we're waiting until this is down to like two seconds. There's no reason not to not waste the time. We get a first down, the game's over, obviously. But we can't just kneel it out because it's third down. Go to one second. Third and four, Matt Forte. Middle. Get there. 
And oh! About four. Not enough? This one requires a measurement. Yes. Nice spot. I think that was a and I think that spot a was a little down. generous. I didn't think I made it. But I ain't gonna argue. Game over. First down here after the run. takes an eight and that's all she wrote coming into Washington tough game huge touchdown to Marshall I'll jump in the cornerback and that's basically that's the game right there that touchdown was huge and we don't need to run another play so we won't do so no reason to fumble or do anything stupid of course, QB Coming Neal, I don't think it's line. actually physically possible 27. to fumble a QB Neal, but <laughs> I think it'd be doing nothing but kneeling it anyway. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. This was a good game to watch today. Competitive all the way to the end. Well, they came in off a win, and they get another one here today. Hey, two weeks in a row, Jim, you play good football, you win. That's a lot of positive reinforcement. You feel good about what you're doing, and there's no way you think you'll lose the following week. 17 to 11 is an odd football score. A little bit odd. An incredible ending to this one, and let's watch it one more time. Our GMC well, the 11's odd, never that's for sure. Never. Moment of the game. So for Bill Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now. All right, sweet. Not much going on stat-wise, like I said, but it's a dirty win, but I'll take it. Most of my wins are not the prettiest. Let's see how we did as a is the players here like what well, team how many yards do we have not many probably 195 yeah Griffin had a 66 rate in Cutler had a 93 9 though with a pick so that's still not a bad day 72 percent one touchdown and that one stupid interception right after I said he's not gonna throw one Forte not much going on there either but Marshall had a huge catch And Washington had a big first half. And he's hot. He's on fire. Hayden had a big sack. Briggs had the big pick. Pe and uh, Peanut had a pick too. Yeah. Just to go with his having a huge. Uh, he's having a huge year when he's not hurt. He hasn't been hurt much. Just a little bit. All right, so uh, what year? What week was that? Seven? Yeah, I think that was week seven. <laughs> Let's take a look at some stats. I haven't really looked at the season stats. Um, so take a quick look at them. We'll skip this. Well, we'll uh, what should we call it? Get to the next week. I'm pretty sure I did my scouting already. Yeah. So it's advance week. So we're not quite halfway through the season. Actually, one more week would be halfway. But I kind of want to look at stats now because I haven't, uh, haven't even looked at them really. As a, I don't think I have. As a season, like like the leaders in the seasons, what I want to look at. So I'll have a practice coming up. And we actually have a bye week this week. No shit. Well, you know what? Well, I still want to practice. And so I won't uh, do that. Let's look at league stats. Season stats. Can we get everybody here? Cubs got an 83.4 rating overall. Eight touchdowns, ten picks. God damn it. More picks than fucking touchdowns. Of 
course. All right, let's look at the uh, NFC leaders. Michael Vick, really, is the number one core rated quarterback in the league. That's pretty interesting. Matt Ryan. Romo's got 1,800 yards. Stafford's got 1,900 yards. Cutler is, well, he's not terrible. He's got not that many yards, though. Of course, I only plays seven minute quarters. Um, but his 83.4 is good enough for seventh in the NFC. Yeah, it's not terrible. Adrian Peterson is obviously a man. He has almost twice as much as Forte. Uh, Forte's got 429. Forte is eighth in the NFC. So he's right in the middle. So Peterson's just killing everybody. Look at this. He's 200 yards more than Frank Gore, who's second in yardage. He's got five touchdowns. Forte's got five touchdowns, though. So. Receiving, there's no way we're going to be high on any of these lists. These guys are playing full games. We're playing seven minutes. Calvin Johnson, 53 catches, five touchdowns. Megatron, Des Bryant, Victor Cruz, Larry Fitzgerald. Brandon got 34 catches with three touchdowns. He actually has a pretty good average. One of the higher ones I just saw. He has... Oh, well, no, well, that guy only has one catch. How could he be on the list with one catch? That's stupid. Alright. And any of our guys blocking well? I don't even really care, to be honest. Kyle Long, five pancakes. Number two in the NFC. And he has yet to give up a sack. That might be enough to get him in a Pro Bowl. Who knows? I don't know how they rate that shit for linemen. 82 tackles for Lee. Patrick Willis is up there. Any Bears? If there is, it's going to be our safeties. Nah, we don't have it. We don't play enough to get them. But we are going to get a lot on... Uh, we do decent on sacks, probably. Cornelius Washington, the rookie. I'm looking for a left end. The guy's got seven sacks. Third in the league. And picks will be good at Yep, Tillman leading the league with four. And Major Wright's got two. Nice. And kicking, I guess there's not much going on there. We haven't actually attempted too many kicks. He only attempted seven. Or he attempted nine and made seven. Compared to these guys. So he attempted a shitload. And kick returns. Dwayne Hester hasn't kick returned a kick in weeks. And he's still second. Well, what is he second in? He's not second in. I don't know why Dwayne Harris is up there. Oh, for touchdowns. Hester, okay, that's why. They each have four touchdowns. Hester's got one, he's got 4 to 68. He's averaging 33, a kick return, which is pretty much leading the league besides that Dwayne Harris guy who's averaging 41.7. But he's got half the returns. And punt return wise, Peterson's up there. Um, with, what are they looking at? I guess we'll go with the yards here. Eighteen point six average for Hester. He's leading the league in that, and he's got a touchdown in the punt return and a touchdown in the kick return, and he's leading an average. So he's got a decent shot at making a Pro Bowl punt return team if he ever comes back. Let's look at our injury report and then win this video. He's got one week. Nice. And so does Jeffrey. Nice. And we have a bye week. So they'll be back for our next game. Sweet. We'll put Jeffrey in there as the third receiver. Actually, should put him as the first, really. He just played well. But we'll have to decide what I'm going to do there. Hester, I'm probably not going to have him in. The Bears aren't even using him as a receiver this year. So I'll probably maybe put him as the fifth. Something like that. But he will be returning our kicks again. All right, sweet. Thanks for watching, everybody. It took a little while in the end there, but I wanted to look at some stats. So I'll talk to you later.